it's hectic. worth of stuff right here. Well, I think we're going to be faced with three days grueling mountain biking with tough uphill climbs, fast descents, gnarly river crossings. I think at the end of the day you can't beat a destination like the Himalayas. One of the biggest sporting events in Nepal, and in its third year, the Himalayan mountain bike race series has already become a national institution. Around 200 racers from 14 countries will travel through 100 kilometers of difficult terrain at high altitude. It's a three-day race along the foothills of the world's highest mountains, challenging even for the most experienced riders who are unfamiliar with the territory. Suresh Kumar Dalal is one of a handful of local riders preparing to take on the international competition. Having grown up like so many on a small farm in the terraced foothills, he left all he knew to become a mountain biking tour guide. This is his land and he knows every contour of the race trails ahead. I have got the dream is one day I will competition with international riders and I think okay why not you know if you get the chance do it. You know? And I think, wow, nice to be in that great biker from Nepal, you know? Suresh is a bit of an all-rounder. I mean, this boy, he's talented, and I think we're still only getting a small portion of what he's really capable of. I mean, he's still young, so he's still developing. But if he gets the right opportunities, he can go a long way. But getting the right opportunities is not easy in Nepal. Landlocked between India and China, this is one of the poorest countries in the world, and international racers bring in more money in three days than many local riders see in years. This bike is cost almost $2,300. It takes me to almost two and a half years to get this much money to buy this one. So especially I have to say this is my toy, and also best friend as well. With its ancient culture and stunning natural beauty, Nepal has always been a draw for those in search of adventure. Yeah! But only in recent years has the idea of racing along the rooftop of the world caught the imagination of biking enthusiasts everywhere. So popular is the annual race in Nepal that the nation's capital comes to a standstill to open the event. If you look back into the old time movies of the big ticket tape parades through the US and the you know, streets of New York, it's like that on a smaller scale. Alexandra Young is a professional cyclist whose proudest achievement was to represent Hong Kong at the Sydney Olympics. Winning a race is always very hard, and if I can't win the race, then I'd like to give the winner a good run for her money. This is her first time in Nepal, but her 39th race this year. I was given an opportunity to join the Hong Kong team, and since then, I discovered what training actually meant, what taking yourself seriously meant, just learning how to be a professional. Oh, there's a little problem here. <laughs> Eric Koh, successful businessman and serious amateur rider from Malaysia, is very much focused on tomorrow's race. Some people say it's in the blood, you know, you just go out and you become competitive and the next thing you know, you say, I want to go for gold, you know. Apart from thinking about family, about my child, I would also like to get a podium finish at the end of this race. It's, it's something that I've worked uh, towards and certainly, you know, it would be great if I could bring a medal back home. Up in the space. It's the morning of race one and time for last minute checks and preparations. I tell you, medical wise, I really 
pray that we've got no blood on the course. The Himalayan mountain biking series begins only 15 kilometers away from the capital Kathmandu. Race one starts in Sundarajal and stretches 29 kilometers through some of the toughest trails to Sanku in the next valley. I don't think there are that many women here, unfortunately. So what I'm going to try to do today is stick with the top few men, aim for maybe a top 20, perhaps uh, top 10. I'll see how I feel. Verena Stitzinger from Germany came here on holiday with a friend. I really like mountain biking, but I'm not a professional. I don't go races at home. The last thing she expected was to find herself on the starting line of a three-day race. We flew back from Lukla in the Everest region, came to Kathmandu, went for dinner and we saw the sign, mountain bike race. So we thought, oh, that sounds good. Those that are in the open category, go and register. Stay in single file. <laughs> oh, I think there's only one other woman. It's Alex from Hong Kong and she's a professional. So it's really funny to be in competition with a professional. Come up to the start. Uh, last year I have got this little bit not good bike. This year I have got a little bit better bike. I hope I will do it better than last time. I will defend from Nepal side, from see I will see in the from is uh, international. I'm hoping I will compete with them very nicely. It, it all started when you know she saw the first sign, which is blood. You know, um, that was the, the morning I was uh, about to leave. Eric's wife in China is nine months pregnant and due any time now. I don't know. I, I may be a father already. It was so hectic this morning that uh, I didn't get a chance to give her a call. There is a bridge. Help us. Did you take to your left? It is not good repair. Race one is a relentless 16 kilometer climb to almost two and a half thousand meters, followed by 13 kilometers of fast downhilling all the way to the finish. Challenging is the altitude. If you can't breathe, you will be not do nothing. You have to go climb almost 21 kilometers from 4,000. Very, very hard, you know. You have to struggle a lot. I heard it's not an easy trail. I heard I might have to carry my bike for a bit. We are focused on performance. We are focused on how to set the pace. We shouldn't slack off. We shouldn't push too hard. And we are looking out for obstacles and all. Everything that you do is focused towards making your body as fit as possible. You don't eat anything that's not going to make you go faster. You don't do anything that's not going to make you go faster. I'm going to show it up. Yes, I'm daddy, but one strong or fast daddy. I really hope that we've got no crazy, radical, off the edge sort of riders taking too many chances. Almost 200 competitors from around the world are taking part in one of Nepal's biggest international sporting events. It's a three-day challenge through some of the world's highest and most treacherous trails. This is race one of a three-day series, and more than half an hour in, the top competitors have already separated themselves from the rest. Among them is Eric Ko from Malaysia. I just hung on to the top guys. There were just four of us. It's at quite a hot tempo, you know. <laughs> Hong Kong Olympic rider Alexandra Young expects to be in the women's lead. Her only challenge, it seems, is to keep up with the men. I'm probably going to be crazy for saying this, but I'd like to climb the best, just because you can just pick up the people <laughs> as you're passing them. 
Local rider Suresh Kumar Dalal knows the route well, and he's determined to use this advantage to hold his own against Eric and the other top riders. Suresh, out of the blue, came into my office pleading for a job. I get asked that five times in a week, so I politely sent him on his way and I said I'd let him know. Within two days he was back in my office again asking, and sir, has that job turned up yet? This happened four times within a week, and I thought, this guy's keen. When they're clapping, I feel very happy, and then I feel very more confident, and I go a little bit fast and get more power. Wow, I have to do it, you know? Blowout catches Alex unawares. She'll need to act fast to keep her lead. During a race, anytime anything goes wrong, you have to fix it yourself. That's one of the oldest rules of mountain biking, self-sufficiency. Okay, here we go. My brother's probably been my biggest influence throughout my whole life. He said, well, what do you want to do in life? I said, I just want to ride my bike. So when this opportunity came up to ride for the Hong Kong team, he said, isn't this what you wanted to do? And I said, yeah, but I won't be making any money. And he goes, well, it doesn't matter. You know, you do what you want to do first and the money will come or the money won't seem that important. In just under an hour, the top riders have reached Jule at nearly two and a half thousand meters. It's now 13 kilometers downhill to the end. And for Alex, the uncomfortable realization that she is no longer in the women's lead. To everyone's surprise, Verena Stitzinger, the amateur enthusiast, has overtaken her. I have some crazy friends which go downhill so fast, and I always try not to make them wait too long. Three kilometers ahead of Eric Ko, Werner Wagner from Germany, and Malaysia's Sharon bin Abdullah are neck and neck and are closing in on the finish. I've been always been doing crazy things on bicycles, you know. Back in my junior days, Malaysia was thinking of sending a team to the World Championships in Paris. And uh, me